Well, here we go. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon. So we are watching a uh, really top end storm. So we have plenty of nor'easters here in New England, but this one, when we look at the flooding side of it in particular, the duration, the winds, this is up there with like perfect storm 91, blizzard of 78 in terms of a coastal impact. Yeah, and I mean, we don't throw those storms around lightly. No. I mean, this is really gonna be probably a historic event here uh, in Boston, especially along the coast. When you talk about the impact of three successive high tides, um, just a devastating blow. A lot of those vulnerable shore roads and houses, I mean, Gladly, I'm happy they're doing the evacuation thing, and you should definitely heed those warnings for sure. That was really telling today. You could see a lot of the pictures at the coast of flooding today. Like Already? Calm day. Yeah. That's because of the full moon. So you already have that water up. We're talking a three to five foot storm surge. Winds will be gusting up to around 80 miles per hour at the coast at times, and that wind's going to be with us over a long duration, so you're going to get a lot more wave action. So people have been asking a lot about January 4th. Will this be like January 4th? It'll be nothing like January 4th. It'll be much worse than what we saw then. That was just one high tide cycle, mm. very little wave action, just came in, out, gone. This will be the same type of water level with much more wave action and much more wind at the coastline. So these are the types of storms that create more damage. Uh, we saw the video you know, in Boston, water in the seaport, yeah. water all over the place at the Greenway. We could see that three straight high tides with this storm. Yeah, the January 4th storm was in and out of here quickly. I mean, the snow was in and out in 12 hours. We had one high tide cycle. You know, this one is sticking around. And actually, all of our storms this year have been quick movers for the yeah. most part. This one, not so much. We've got it sort of blocked up in Greenland. It's, there's really nowhere to go, so we've got a solid couple days worth of wind and coastal, uh, coastal issues. And then there's the snow. Yeah. The snow <laughs> is a, a huge wild card still. I mean, we're not changing uh, the forecast really across the area. This is one that's going to be likely mostly elevation dependent. So as you get up into Worcester County, northeastern Connecticut, the Monadnocks, you have the highest risk of a heavy wet snow. And that type of snow, once you get to four or five inches, starts bringing down limbs, power lines, and those types of issues. Uh, if you're in the valley, like the Connecticut River Valley, if you're close to Boston, we'll probably get some snowfall. And for the evening, if you're driving, mm -hmm. you could get two hours of blinding snow as things end. Um, <laughs> but it's not going to add up to nearly as much. Yeah, so you mentioned power outages. There's really uh, two areas at greatest risk for power outages. There's the coast, of course, where you have the highest winds, 70, 80 mile per hour winds. And then there's the places like Worcester County and the Berkshires that will probably get several inches of heavy wet snow along with some gusty winds. Mm -hmm. Um, so this is one of those storms where I'm sure there'll be tens of thousands of probably power outages and you know perhaps for a couple of days even trying to get power back on in a lot of communities so it's tough because you want you want to like the reflex is to compare to other storms but every yeah. storm is a little bit different than the one before it um, and another kind of like the nuances of these storms is something to consider if you live in a place like Cape Ann uh, 128 is gonna flood and you probably could be cut off for maybe an extended period of time when that water comes in that's how high this will get uh, so there'll be parts of the shoreline that won't be accessible for a time, especially as we head through Friday, Friday night, and Saturday. Uh, also, different areas might have different times for their worst tide. So in Boston, the worst tide may be tomorrow. But if you're bayside on the Cape, your worst tide may end up being Saturday because the water will be pushing up into the bay over time, and your highest levels may come with the Saturday midday high tide. Yeah, and we should mention uh, the inland flooding as well. I mean, we're talking one to three inches of rain, maybe even a little bit more in spots. Um, you know, probably right on that threshold for a lot of the rivers mm -hmm. to either get near to or slightly over their banks. So even if you're inland from the coast, you say, ah, oh, I don't have to worry about flooding. Well, at least for a time tomorrow, the rain's going to be coming down heavy. Yeah. Um, Plus, and, it backs up storm drains. Absolutely. So if the water's coming in from the ocean and the water's trying to go out from the mainland, right. where they meet up, you get all sorts of water backing up. So that's a different type of problem. So you name it. I mean, it's all on the table, really, with this one. I mean, inland, coast, flooding, snow, rain. Um, just really need to stay tuned to updated forecasts, especially with for things like the snow accumulation, which mm -hmm. is a tricky call. Um, but certainly, if you're at the coast, you know, listen to your... Yeah, and your, your local um, advisors, heed the warnings. This one is definitely uh, means business. Yeah, and uh, that's where we are for right now. We'll keep you updated. Uh, you can just look at the uh, radar picture. We actually have the rain already into northeastern Pennsylvania. So they'll be arriving after midnight tonight. The flip to snow is starting around midday, early afternoon tomorrow for the highest elevations. And then as we head toward the evening, it'll sweep off toward the east. Yeah, we'll be with you all the whole way. Pam will be down in Situate. Eric will, Eric will be here, and I'll be chomping away at the computer. <laughs> Stay safe. Stay safe.